had a puncture. Oh, you put the bloody bit for I've had since I've been there and I've driven every bus in that day. I think you're overreacting a bit, don't you, Fred? No, I don't think so. It's a very responsible job carrying passengers. It's not like you, tossing a few balls in the air and shouting 26, 2 and 6. You're not all right, son, you? You're not hurt yourself. No, but what are, they going to do with the, what are they going to do with the bus now? Summer's round the corner. Well, take a whiz around the edge. You've got an open top door. You've done them a favour. Why, well, I, I think you could use that if you win the double. You'll have plenty of tight paint it, won't you? It's a bloody bus getting people from A to B. I make people's dreams come true. It won't for me half the people on this estate wouldn't have microwaves or washing machines or goblin teas maids. Chances when you'd be sorted because it more or less stays it for you, don't you? Just like you want them buses. I know them all personally, I know them inside. I know them better than know me kids. No, but they're just buses. Not like it's bingo, is it? No, mate, what I do is make dreams come true. Yeah. You, you, you get people from here to be, fair enough. But I lift them up to another level. I make them feel like winners. I'm not claiming any superiority, but in bingo we deal with numbers and colours. One confusion, we could have a riot on our own. I trust you entirely that you're going to get the next drink, since you're going to look after me. I will get the next drink. Same again, love. Deliver us from the discomfort of drafty doors, from the danger of broken windows, and from the assault of the weather upon our leaky roof. But today, I am delighted to announce that our fighting fund so generously donated by your good selves has been blessed and that work can now go ahead in God's holy name. I know you're getting a plastic one with a light up halo. Dad says it'll make a place look like black illuminations. But what about my grandma Madge's Madonna? Where's she going? Joanna, I really haven't got time to talk about this now. I have important parish business to attend to. Yeah, but she cried once. Got my mad story, which means she's miraculous. Not exactly. Why not? Because your grandma Madge was the only one to witness the miracle. Are you calling her a liar? No. No. But your grandma Madge was old, Joanna. Old? And soft in the head, you mean? Listen, if my grandma Madge said it cried, it cried. Joanna, I really have important parish business to attend to. Now go home, huh? Oh, okay. 
So where's she going then? To be frank, I haven't given it much thought. Then you ought to be ashamed of yourself, Father. <laughs> Well, there's nothing definite yet, Silver, but they're going to need someone to drive the bloody bus with, aren't they? Not the shop steward, though, that's a dead stairs. Public transport in the hands of private enterprise, eh? I never thought I'd see the day. They're throwing it out, eh? The Madonna? Grandma matches Madonna? They're throwing it out. They can't do that. There must be a department. Don't talk to me about departments. What department? At the council, I'd have thought. They're the buggers behind us. They're not you, not them, the Madonna. Oh, I tell you what, that'd be a miracle if we could get her to join us, wouldn't it, eh? They'd never vote her out, would they? Dad! What? Mum won't match us, Madonna. She's heading for the scrappy for according to Father Keane. Really? Yeah. Well, she can join the bloody club then, can't she? Come on, I need your help. It'll be like the time we found a home for the kitten. You know, with the gammy leg and squint. Flex, you lost her. Simple. Now then, have you found your colours? No, but I'm rapidly losing my sense of humour. Why can't we have numbers like we've always had? European guidelines, Winston. No close head in the same way you mark my words. Right, now, look for the key. Hmm. Ah, Frank Conlon, red. Surprise, surprise. Hey, if anybody's red around here, it should be me. Season bloody ticket holder, mate. Ah, yes, you're, uh, you're dark blue, you are, Winston. <laughs> <laughs> You've got one of two hopes, Cecil. No hope and Bob hope. He's a blue nose. Give it to him. Yeah, yeah that'll yeah. do me. No danger. All right. All right. Light blue, then, how's that? Do I look like Lee and Bloody Gallagher or what? You do in a certain light, Winston, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Manchester City. <laughs> or Coventry. There's no difference, is there? In fact, that was the only good thing the Germans done during the war. They raised it to the ground. Go on, Blakey, carry on. <laughs> do you with the Virgin Mary? I'm so sorry we've stopped taking stolen goods. Amber! Are you there, Amber? Calling turquoise! Calling turquoise! Come in, turquoise! Over! Where the hell are you, Amber? Amber! Come in and meet me, Harry Pete! Come in and meet me! No, your colours, Harry Pete! No, your colours! Amber, can you hear me? Turquoise, come in, please! Over! Report position! Urgent! Over! You are not lilac, I repeat, you are not lilac, over. Where's this, Sam? Hello, love. 
you got there, girl? Some more matches, Madonna. What are you dragging it around for? Well, it's a bit like something for the challenge. Oh, very nice. Lost interest in your stamp collection, then. What the hell's this? Do you know what it is? It's our lady. Well, she can't stop there. Why not? Well, she, she doesn't go with the colour scheme, for one thing. Look, she, our lady's in pastels and pinks and blues. So? Well, anyone who knows anything about interior design will tell you that this room is colour coordinated and it's in russet, ochre and beige. She doesn't go, love. Why do we have to have her? Because she's our Grandma Madge's Madonna. She sort of cry. Yeah, when she's pissed. <laughs> That's a lie. Grandma Madge took a couple of drinks now and then for medicinal purposes. Go away, she was a raving bloody alcoholic. <laughs> Not like you, you mean. Anyway, that can't stay there. That's all there is to it. But why? But why? Because, because, because it's invading our privacy. What privacy? It'd, it'd be under our feet. She's not motorised, Mr Conlon. Listen, lad, I've got nothing against a Madonna in her own place, you know, like a church or a convent. But this is bloody not a screen. Doreen. Hello, love. Our business? Oh, not very good, thanks for asking. The bottom's fallen out of curry sauce over the last few months. I'm sorry to hear that. We couldn't make enough of it at one time. I remember. Stank the whole place out. I remember that too. When we went to Australia to see our Billy, everyone kept asking us if we'd had a stop over in Delhi. Inside her work. I'm going. See you there. Oh, not very well, so I got all the gear on. And he said to me, What's that thing? It's a bit thin for a dressing gown, isn't it? Typical. So I told him, It's design a lingerie for your information. Victoria's Secret. What did he say to that? He said she should have kept it a secret. He never. He did! Then he said, Where's the purple candle wick one I got you for Christmas? So I told him, Keeping an entire village warm in Bosnia. Oh. So, no joy then. Oh, I've got another idea now, so. Oh, yeah, what's that? Viagra. Dear Liz Pulaco, after learning that Our Lady was on its way to the municipal tip, me and my friend, Wesley Churchill, decided to take her in until we could find her a good home. So if any of your readers will be prepared to give her a place to stay, please would they write to me at the above address. I need somewhere soon, as my dad says we haven't got much room for it. Do you want come? Yes. yes. She's a bit damaged, but Polly Filler will fix it. She went to uh, halfway house for religious effigies then, hey, Frank? Hey. You never know. <laughs> she could get assigned a social worker. Very bloody funny. <laughs> New roster as from... 0700 hours. Note your colours, they've all been changed. Your primrose now, Frank Conlon. That's out on primrose, back on top. Get the bin men to take that. Don't talk, Dad. The bin men don't take rubbish. What? Not that kind. He needs forms, big boxes. What about our Joanne? Got to be very careful with young girls. What with the anorexia syndrome? Not under the bloody disease. You want to leave that medical dictionary alone? It's very useful. Oh, I know it is. Remember our Stephen when he had uh, Emmy? You remember, don't you, when he was complaining that all his muscles were wasting away so he could skive off school for the week? And what were you doing? You were writing bloody letters, weren't you, to uh, Esther Ranson? Bloody hell, Silb. Do you know the origins of the word bloody? No, but I'm sure you're going to bloody tell me. It's an abbreviation of by our lady, a medieval curse. Yes, and I can think of a few curses myself, thank you. I'll get you some salad cream. She had her in the Windsor, you know. That's no way to treat our lady. If you've got something to say, Mrs. Mackenzie, don't say it to her. Say it to me. All right, so well. Your 
Joanne's brought our lady to your house. What has she had? That's a religious effigy. And as such, should be housed on hallow ground. Oh, really? The last thing your house is is hallow ground. From what I've heard, it's more like grounds for divorce. Is that right? And how did she get it here, may I ask? In a supermarket trolley. Exactly. The Virgin Mary deserves better than a supermarket trolley. What? Like dumping in the municipal tip, which is where she'd be now if Father Keen had his way. You've probably not saved anything or anyone in your whole life, Mrs. McKenzie, except people from liking you. So I'll thank you to mind your own. I see what you mean, Frank. She, she's um, a little bit dominating, isn't she? Can't you stick it out back? She won't have that when she becomes up next door's pigeons on that side and their bloody bees on that side. You've got to be very careful with young girls. Well, no, that's what Sylvie said. You can get fanatical, you know. I've seen it back home. Well, in Soxteth. No, Jamaica. They're all about speaking in tongues. What did he say? Well, you know, like Hail Mary, Mother of God. Only in 48 different languages. There is a positive side to that, though, Winston. See, well, in this day and age, like, with only unemployment and that. So you could always get a job as an interpreter. Not so fast, if you don't mind. What? Have you checked your route? No. Why? No, I didn't think so. New roster as from 0700 hours. Give me strength. You're turquoise now, Conlon. That's out on turquoise, back on mode. Listen, Twatty, it took me a week to make sense of the last map. The one that had us all left not towards the lost city of Atlantis. Go on, knob off. You want to be careful, you do, Conlon. Get out of the sick of So are you. Go on, bloody up it. You blow up the car, you hit me. There you are. I got a moment to do. Calling turquoise, calling turquoise, come in turquoise, over. Calling ticket, calling ticket, come in ticket, over. Return to base, return to base to discuss the and this is a military action, over. Return to Gaza.
Dad. Ta-da, love. Be good. Give me the boot. Ta-da, lad. Blindfold, you know that. I did it long enough. But if I was to push you up to the top of the less cell from nowhere, I'd have a full scale mutiny on my hands. If there is an outbreak of the bubonic plague, or they all come up in the lottery, believe me, you will be the first to know. Right.
going on? No. That doesn't sound like it. Does it? If you've been fornicating in front of the Virgin. Two are you dirty like again? Oh, found a team gonna say where he is about it. Friends! You'll be doing parents you till you're on your bloody zimmer frames! It's because you're not getting any. I thought you'd be pleased. Frank is regular work five nights a week. Mom? Mom? Look where our Stephen's done. Stop it now. The pair of you should be late to school. Come on. So what about me and the kids? Look, here, you can help out now and then when you want to pop down the religion, tell them it's a crisis. Oh, you did, right. Well, you come out on the bloody bingo world with that toss of chalky white, eh? The working class bloody treater. Come on, Steve, hurry up. Wayne, what are you doing there? I'm playing. Playing? Have you seen the time up at the school? Go on, Pet, you're all right. Yeah. Man alive, number, number five. five. Clickety click, six is six. Oh, not again. oh, no, I've lost this now. Oh, sorry, I think this uh, seems to be a bit of a gremlin in the way. Yeah, Chalky White couldn't handle his own underwear, he couldn't. Chalky, are you there? What have you done? Not. I've done anything. Uh, sorry, folks, uh, we seem to have lost our computer link. Uh, if you could just bear with me. Uh, so, so, so. You uh, sing a song, and I'll try and sort this building out. Mm. Oh, come on, don't let me down now. This used to be your favourite. I've got an anchovy. Frightened of Raya? No, don't be frightened of our lady. Good. What? What have I done? Not in front of our lady. It's not religious, is that? It's all right. Oh, no, it's not. It's anything but all right. I'm going home. Stephen Cameron? What do you think you're doing? Insulting our lady like that? You're burning hell, you will. Everybody has a bad day at work every now and then, don't they? I know. That's what I said to the cops when they took me bus back. It made no odds. It's all I ever wanted, though, you know. What's that, Jackie? Shout out numbers. Ever since I was torn his den. I've worked for that poxy chalky white ever since I was two little ducks. Quack, quack. I thought I'd at least make it till I was bright and blind. Come on, Jackie, you'll get something, lad, no danger. There's no down for me, Frank. There's always that job in Sefton Park on the boat and lake. Come in, number six. Come in, number six, your time's up. Oh, the mighty have fallen, eh? You and they both, eh? Singing at a bingo. Work of the devil. Your missus has unwittingly become a tool of Satan. Thank you. 
do what? You know, well, I do. I know what he's going to say because you're going to go to confession tomorrow morning before you do anything else. Do you hear me? What's going on? These touches in front of the... You're oh. turning into a light little sex maniac, aren't you? Hey, I don't know what's got into you lately. Oh. Go on, up it. Go on, get to bed. Hey, up. How much? Fifty quid a night. And what's a uh, chalky's cut like? Hey, he wouldn't put nothing your way. Like Shall I? <laughs> Not that bloody dog again. What's got into him this time? Hey, what's up with the bloody mobile moped, Wesley? Doesn't like the statue. Uh, well, he's got some sense then. Where's the cup of tea, will you, love? Uh, yeah, I'll put the kettle on now, love. Oi. If you don't get rid of that statue, I will. Nothing to do with you, Stephen Conlon. Listen, I live here as well, you know. Sit down. Yeah, more's the pity. Don't even dare, no bed. Listen, you can piss off and take your flea bit and I'll be no rug with you. Hey, you can stop that right now, the lot of you. Okay, and Joanne, you get that statue out of this house today, all right? What's that? Today, I said, okay, there's no room in the inn, love, and that's final. Right, I'm off to see a man. All right. But what about your garage? It wouldn't be for long. No chance. Rastafarians don't like Catholics much. He's not a real Rastafarian, Wesley. Yes, he is. Rastafarians are vegetarians. All I've seen your friend has eat is sausage and chips. Yeah, well, he's part of Liverpool chapter of Rastafarians in exile, which means he gets certain concessions. Like? Well, I like eating sausages for one. Sure, I'm not sure if he had the room for it, Joanne. Himself gets wedged behind the settee in his inner frame as it is. The Virgin Mary has come to visit us. It's the Virgin Mary has come to visit us. Ah, <laughs> St. Peter's, now you know that. Oh, yes, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I always thought of you as black. 
I made a sacrilegious comment, Father. I was pushed to the limit. Don't beat yourself up about it, Frank. Life's tough. I know. Lost my job. The house has turned into a war zone. My wife's had her head turned by some... by some fella in the bingo hall. I've started taking it out on the kids. I need a break, Father. Well, there's some very cheap packages to the Dominican Republic just now. Or so I'm led to believe. Dad! Dad! What have you done with her? She's gone down the chippy! What? All in your house? Yeah, it's a miracle! Joanne Coleman? Yeah? Liverpool Echo. Come with me. Smile, kids. Gonna run out of spots at this rate, Reed. I'll eat you two a kid. We've got a rush on. Martha. Shouldn't wonder she'll be snapped up now. I loved you. Mm. 
I meant work. I said, don't ask for much. Work? Work? Is that what you bloody call it? Well, at least I'm bringing money, which is more than could be said for some. Well, 50 bloody pounds. That's not going to keep the wolf from the door, it's is it? It's spotless this afternoon. Now, look. What it's going to be like when I get back from Sheffield after three days, I do not know. Sheffield? Where are you going to Sheffield for? I've got a job in a club there. Just for two nights, that's all. Oh, well, and you're out there, and I'm going to be here fetching and carrying that, mate, while you're cavorting around the Yorkshire Dales with that other twat. Hey. That's what this is all about, isn't it? What? About you and bloody soft lads. Oh, don't talk daft. Hey, well, you're not going, and that's final. Oh, I am, I bloody am, and you can't stop me. Can I? But well, you know when you get back, when you want to get your head down somewhere, it won't be here, so find yourself somewhere bloody else. Listen, Frank, Colin, for years I've been in this house, day and bloody night, and everyone's beck and call. I've worked hard for this family. And so a bloody eye. What do you think I've been doing for the last 25 years? First of all, I am bringing money. Thumbs up, everyone. Did you get the tears? Got it. It's a miracle, Wesley. A sign. Do you really believe in all that stuff, Joanne? Of course I do. Don't you believe in anything? I do believe our Hubert's a drug addict. Why is that? If my granddad doesn't roll up, as soon as he comes in, he starts to bark. And when he gets his first win, he lies on his back with his legs in the air and his eyes closed. You thought your granddad was on the wagon? He fell off it weeks ago. I believe in something else. What? I believe in you, John Conlon. And I always will. Oh, that, that's not mine. I, I think it belongs to my lad. Kids, who's, who's had them? Frank, that's the one, isn't it? You tell our Stephen, get rid of that. Oh, I say, but at least we know one thing, he's not gay. Turning down that kind of money. Hey, there's a woman out here with Stigmata. Stigmata catching. It's just I've got to be very careful with me, chat. It's those people with the marks on the hands, you know, like Jesus. Means they've been chosen by God. Yeah, well, she'll be chosen by me. She drips blood all over me twist pile. I'll go and tell her. Are we gonna see it? Be careful of the cars. Oh, yes, I will. Yes. Don't you let that cheated with you, plan? You got a license for all this. Hey. 
I am licensed by the Almighty. Right. Ah, Father. Up, up, Father. Hello. Not Hello. today. Come Hello. again, Lord. Tight bastard. Oh, yes, Frank. We will take her back. We will. Back into the bosom of her family. Praise the Lord. Back into the arms of her beloved Amen. brethren. Hallelujah. Back into the church she so rightfully calls her own. Amen. Praise be the Lord. Ah, Amen. bums on seats, Frank. Bums on seats. I know what you mean, Father. Thank the Lord for that. Nice one, Frank. Thanks a bunch. Back to St. Michael's. Look, I'm not selling anymore. Will you stop hassling me? Oh, Father Key never believed in the Madonna. Well, he does now, love. Yeah, because there's proof. That's not true faith, Dad. That's not true faith at all. Virgin Mary, who oh, for so long graced us here, and St. Michael's on the Mount has given us a sign. I'm not sure. Who would desecrate our lady like that? I was just trying to help, love, that's all. You were trying to sell more chips. Nothing wrong with that. The world would be a better place if we all let more chips. Yeah, who said? Nostradamus. Never. Come well, on, money wants to found. You should have done. A warning signs already. What warning signs? She's turned down my stew. And wait till I see our Doreen. Right now, our Joanne is obviously very upset and she's just refused food. So, if any of you attempted to make fun of her over the next couple of days, just think anorexia and bite your tongue. Well, I don't think I'm listening well. I'm getting too old for all this bloody messing about. Right, here. Here, get rid of that, will you? 
Yo me si me acuerdo, me hicimos. Tenor for the contract, Kevin. That's an insult, that is. You ain't telling my beers about this. They'll set the nuns on you. National Union and nutties. Just that natural. Whoa, easy, Tiger. All right, sir. Want to town, virgins go free. Make sure he gets home all right, love. They're just good friends, you know. Hey, if any old lad were here, because of that water into wine thing, gasp it. What did you do with her? With who? The Southern Statue, of course. <laughs> She's sightseeing on the 14 seats of Croxford. Tell her shit. This used to be your favourite place, Grandma Madge. You told me you could see every place and everyone you love from here. As you know, I'm trying to find a new home for your Madonna. But it's hard. No one seems to want her. Oh. Oh. Lost is no good, is it? Because lost very often becomes found. You know what I mean, don't you? Anyone can make a mistake, Frank. Come on! You know you're in there! You know I have abandonment issues where women are concerned. To me, lads. Ten lashes do for starters, yeah? Come on, punish your way. You'll be punished by God, not on your toughness. Yes, no! I know what toughness coming wrong with you ever told me in, but now I know! No, Frank! Please, leave me! I mean, take a seat! Leave me! No, I can see now. She's the one, eh? She's perfect. Frank, don't. Please. Get thee behind me, Satan! Please, look, look. A boy's gotta have a hobby. It's only right. Please. Well, try collecting beer, Matt, pal. The chief easily available and calls the fish to go over me. Going on? Hey, hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? It's a long story, love. Get off there. What got into you when they keep Frank Conlon? It's, take... no, it's not what it seems. No, no, I bet it isn't. You're in the throes of the male menopause if you ask me. Not you, you bitch. Have you seen enough, have you? You nosy bloody parker. Um, go on. I can explain, so. I've nothing to say to you. Come on, Ken, hurry up. I think she overreacted. She's always the same. Very religious woman, your wife. Hold on, pilot. Frank, get on. Get on. Three. Old age pensions. Unlucky for some. You are. Danny LaRue. Fifty two. Oh, great. 
Oh, don't touch. Here you go, love. It's written in the Bible, Frank. What's that one, sir? Never trust a geezer in a Jaguar. Uh, how do you mean? I'm not having that. Soft lad. You bloody playing oh, Franklin? Yeah. Sylvia's my wife, but you've never bloody got over it, have you? Over what? The fact that she stood you up and married me six months later. Oh, that's water under the bridge, that fact. No, you're just getting your own back. That's what this is all about, the clubs and the songs. Oh, that's crap. Have you ever heard her sing? Because if you have, you know she's got a voice to die for. Oh, you're doing all this for her benefits, are you? I bet you're lying in your bloody pockets, because you're known you for ripping the working class off. And what about you, eh, with your union activities? You've lost your job. You've sold your wife and kid right down the river. That's... Frank, 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 this is doing you no good, man. I'm just jealous. You're nothing but a bloody loser. You keep away from my wife and you keep away from this bloody house or you'll get the same again. Frank, that's enough. Look what you've done now. Look what I've done. Come on, Frank. Just you, you bitch. Lowering the tone of the neighbourhood again. If I were honest, I have had me head turned by Chalky White. Not in, in that way, of course, not now. I, I'm married to Frank till death do his part, but at least Chalky appreciates me. At least he thinks I've got some worth. It's like Frank stopped actually seeing me years ago. He's panicking now because he's He's scared I'm just about to do a runner. Can you see me leaving my kids? Never. Never in a million years. Why, why can't Frank be happy for me? Why can't he say, well done, I'm proud of your kid. Silver. Anyway, um, last night, I drowned Wesley's dog, Hubert, in the bath. Then I played poker with the Queen and won 42 million quid. And the Isle of Wight. Carry on, my child. Oh, five-star accommodation, eh? There's nothing going on, Frank. I wouldn't touch him the six-foot rake for your information. Why don't you just call the halt to the whole bloody thing? No, I won't. And you can't make me. Yeah, well... You go and live with him. Let him put a bloody roof over your head. Yeah, well. I'll need to, seeing as you've done bugger all about finding another job. Think you can feed us five on the dole. I don't want any charity off that bloody dickhead. It's not charity. I'm working. Chalky's right, you know. You're jealous. That's just not true. Oh, not of him, neither. You're jealous because I found something that gives me pleasure. Something that satisfies me. Bollocks. But I thought you were a bigger man than that, Frank Conlon. <sighs> Obviously, I was wrong. You gonna get that?
Morning. Is Mr. Coleman in? 